Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Rad World. Uh, today we got a rad review <laughs> of the Damn Toys 1-6 scale Assassin's Creed Altair. So I got this figure about a month ago now. Um, and I just am in awe, to be honest, that he is the quality that he is. I've been collecting Hot Toys and, and sort of more lately Mezco 1, sort of 112 scale figures. Um, so I've recently dipped my toes back into the 1 6 scale scene and started off with these guys and I just haven't looked back. Um, gone on to now collecting the rest of the series of figures all the way from Altair. Most recently has been Bayek. Um, not coming soon as the Odyssey. So here's a spin around of the box. As you can see, just a typical slipcover case. Love the artwork there of Altair. It's probably one of my favourite assassins from the series of games. So there's an inside look at the box and the packaging. As you can see, I've taken the figure out already. Um, there's a logo there on the side. Pretty much the same all around. And on the back, we've got a bio of Altair. Which I'll bring into more detail closer up. So feel free to pause and stop here as we go. Basically, Altair is the first Assassins from the Assassin's Creed game franchise. The one that started it all, really, to be honest. Back on, I think I played this on the Xbox 360 at the time. Um, this is pretty much the main reason why I wanted to buy Xbox 360 back in the days. Of just this iconic character on the front of the game case. And on magazines and stuff. Um, it's just a truly iconic look. White and red with the hood on. And the fact that you could sort of free run through the city was really what brought me into this game. Um, and I've played every single game since, and I just absolutely love this franchise, as you can see from the previous video I've done. So here's a closer look at the accessories. All right, so here's a closer look at the accessories. So apologies about the way I'm shooting this. I'm kind of having to wing it at the moment. Uh, I've got a lot of kids running around the house, so I'm just using every quiet place I can. So at first we have a throwing knife. Even though it's small, there's really good attention to detail here. It is plastic, there's no die cast weapons, but I mean, they look the part. Sorry about the focus. I'm trying to get that right. Yeah, so that's one of the throwing knives. Yeah, sorry, focus is going out. So they're all relatively exactly the same. These are larger daggers that go onto his back. which I'll show you later on. Sorry, these are the ones that go into his front. The little ones go into his back. There's the bigger dagger. I uh, can't remember what that's called. It's the... It's just called dagger from memory. Um, I'm imagining it's got a proper name. I'm used to stuff weapons though. There's the hidden blade. So the iconic weapon of the Assassin's Creed franchise. Really good attention to detail. And that's the hidden blade, obviously sheathed. And the way you put these onto the figure is that they just clip in. There's one of the hands, and as I'm saying, there's a hidden blade finger that's been cut off. <laughs> there's a bit of blood in there. It's really good attention to detail. There's a holding hand. That's a fist. There's a holding hand for knives and daggers. Open. 
leaving dirt under his fingernails from the climbing of the walls and there's another fisted finger hand. There's another open barn. Up next is the sword, so the sword of Altair. Uh, some of you playing Assassin's Creed. The later games will know, I think it's Revelations. You actually get the sword of Altair. And there's a sword sheath. And up now is the base. So this base is, it feels quality. It feels heavy. Um, much better than what I found on Hot Toys sort of stands, or the typical ones you get anyways. The only thing, the downside is the it's space, you know, the, it's a bit bigger, it's rounder. Um, so I know some people prefer the smaller bases, but if you don't have a lot of 1-6 scale figures, I think the bigger the base, the better. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the accessories. And up next... Yeah, let's have another little look at that sword. Just look at the tension there. And look, there's Altair. Just got him in an iconic pose of the hidden blade out. Trying to intimidate somebody. The attention to detail on the tailoring is, is just amazing. So as you can see as we're panning down now, there's a bit of dirt and grime on the bottom of the um, robes. And as we can see, there's the face. It's even got a scar on his lip, which is just like the game. There's the bigger blades on the front there, as I was saying. The boots. It's fully bendable, so you can pose the robes any way you want, sort of look windswept, or if he's jumping. Really cool. I absolutely love it. The hood. Um, in the earlier models, I can remember people saying that the hood it wasn't quite accurate, or there's some sort of mistakes done with the tip of the hood there. Um, this one doesn't seem to have that issue, from what I can see. Correct me in the comments below. In the back here, you can see all his pouches. There's the sword and the sheath. I mean, look at that. It's just something you don't see in pictures and stuff, you know, just that real attention to detail. Just such an iconic look and design for Altair. Looks a bit greyer on the box. Yeah, let's have a look at some articulation. So I've just put them in a different pose again. Sorry about the swapping of locations. This is my bedroom. <laughs> and there's, I want to say Desmond, but that's Altair. They all look pretty much the same. Um, and it, it, it's okay. You don't see his face too much in the game. Um, but, I mean, I'm not complaining of this. Articulation is... It, it could be better, to be honest. I mean, you've got 90 degrees nearly there with the hands. One of them goes up higher. Um, the body is padded. So it's, it's it's got a sort of outer suit on top of the damn toys model body. The head just falls off there. And the hood just goes straight over the head of no issues. Uh, I'll just say with the articulation, the legs are very loose. My one anyways, so he doesn't stand very well. Um, he definitely needs to stand. You can get him without a stand, but I mean, I wouldn't risk that too much. Um, you can do a general pose. This is him with his sword. He just looks epic. And that's another one for you. Behind. Again, the tailoring is just amazing on this figure. I wonder what is in those pouches, though. I'm thinking the smoke bombs from the game. The braces. They almost look die-cast. Such a good figure. Throwing blades are all removable. Uh, they can get lost very easily. So, a bit of caution when moving this figure around. I think it's probably best to just get him in a good pose you like and just leave him there. Yeah, Zaltair holding one of the daggers. Just to show you what it looks like in the hand. I did notice on this one already there is some paint smudges in the hand, so just be careful of that. Um, I wouldn't advise to take the daggers in and out too much. Otherwise it will cause more long-term damage. Excuse the Transformers in the background, guys. Alright, so here's a bit of an outdoor shoot. Uh, just to get some real-world lighting and effects on him. Uh, you can imagine he's in a jungle. Peering up against Nathan Drake or something like that, I don't know. But just look at that. 
Just great attention to detail. I can't recommend this figure enough. If you like Assassin's Creed or just like good video game characters, then this is definitely one to jump on. And I think that might just be the pose I'm going to leave him in now. So as I said, I've had him for a, a while, uh, probably about a month, and he's just been sitting under me for my TV. Um, but I just can't keep taking my eyes off how good it looks. I do have the rest of the Assassin's Creed figures, as I said, but I just haven't unboxed them as of yet, just due to space. Look at that lightness. I'll tell you. They just want to sink in for a bit longer. So there's a bit more of a closer look at that side of them from outside amazing looking piece now I'm just recently been playing the Assassin's Creed Rogue game um, I did start it a while back but getting these guys just makes me want to play through the whole series again to be honest, and I'm kind of that personality type that will do it, so I'm currently on Assassin's Creed Rogue, and then I'm going to try and finish off Assassin's Creed Origins, just because of the Bayek figure came in last, and I just really want to understand and get to know that character a little bit more better. But yeah, here's a bit of the arm articulation again for you. Trying to him in a different pose. So here's a bit of a fun one for you. Is Alta, yeah. hi -oh! Coming in for the kill. It's another outdoor shot. Just trying to get some of that true light on him. Show you how he looks under the real sun, as he would in real life. Standing over Damascus. So here's where I currently have Altair sitting. Uh, this is underneath my TV. And as I said, he's just an eye-catching piece. You, you know, immediately just get drawn to him. Such an iconic design, as I said before, with the white and the red. It just pops out. And so, yeah, that just about does it. Uh, thank you for watching this video so far. I'm really keen to hear your thoughts on this figure, and if you've got it, let me know in the comments below. Um, you can probably only find this guy on eBay now to be honest guys I, I struggled to find it when I did I, I got it for quite a good deal um, for close to retail from a store in the Philippines um, but again yeah, it's pretty slim pickings out there so your probably best bet is just to go to eBay I would try and jump on this as fast as I can there's limited amount left um, so if you're a fan of the series if you're a fan of Assassin's Creed you need to have Altair there's no other way around it I mean you can get Ezio but this guy is truly the master assassin. So yeah, let me know what you think about the video. I really appreciate you guys watching it this far. And uh, have a good Christmas, New Year's for 2021. And we'll see you soon.